What is up, everybody? I am doing a shop tour. Is that what we're doing? Shop tour. Shop Mother tour. Demands. Shop tour with Shaden. Uh, he is the uh, owner, creator, brains behind Mothership Vans. We're going to get all the information of what Mothership Vans does, how they operate some of the most expensive and luxury vans that are on the market. Is that safe to say? Yeah, just going for the most futuristic thing we can futuristic. dream up here. I like that. Let's get Shaden and all the information we can, and you guys know the drill. Let's do it. Before we get started, <laughs> thanks again yeah. for being on the channel. Uh, is this your fourth time on my channel, I think? I think the fourth time, yeah. Yeah. Nine vans in now or something like that. It's kind of crazy. It is crazy. I've only showed like three. You've done a bunch. Because you now, moved. <laughs> I did move, but I'm coming back. Yeah, Which, you are. Nikes. I haven't told anybody on my channel that. Anyways, we're standing in front of your, your Mothership One, I think, right? Yeah, this is pretty much, actually, I'd call this, in a way, this is the third one. Uh, I kind of just recently decided to start transitioning away from my name being the main thing behind these vans and kind of starting to develop an actual brand of its own. So I would actually call this Mothership 3. We have a couple more inside too that we're working on. And, and this isn't yeah. really a tour of this van. We're gonna get a nice little walkthrough in this one. Yeah, we'll just give you guys like a little sneak peek of this Mothership, uh, just so you kind of get an idea of some layout changes we're doing. And then we're gonna go inside and show you what we're working on on the new ones and kind of the way that the shop works and all that stuff. So super similar in a lot of ways to the previous builds. This will just be a brief tour once again, but but we're on a 170 four x four here. This is a 2021. This is the last four x four 170 we're doing. Are you are you only doing 170s for Mothership? Are you open to doing a 144? Uh, no 144s. Unfortunately, okay. there's no room in a 144 for the Mothership, right? It's just got too much stuff that we want to put in it. On this van, basically, this is a 170 four x four. This is the last four x four we're going to do. Everything after this is going to be 3500 XD all wheel drive. So all dually extended 2023 all wheel drive 170s. I so believe you already have some of those in your possession. Yeah, we got two of those. Those nice. are really rare. They're hard to find. Find. They love to mark them up, but we got two of those inside that we're working on right from here on out Pretty much everything from mothership will be built on that chassis because we're putting so much weight into these vans And even though we're trying to thin it out as much as possible Every time we thin it out we always add more cool stuff too. So we're trying to get as much cargo capacity as possible, but This is mothership three So basically coming in here. We have a very similar interior layout we're not going to give you guys the full tour right now once again, but um, ultimately back here we have a very similar layout to the last two vans that you guys have seen on YouTube, except we changed up the main thing that's different on this one is we changed up this rear wall so you're not fully walking into the shower. So now the shower pan is actually right down here and this folds forward. This is a super cool little powder coated shower pan and the curtain just basically pops up onto this uh, magnetic mounts right here. Mm -hmm. And we move the toilet over here. So lots of different changes at the back of the van and tons of upgrades in the Fan. We got a Focal sound system now. Nice studio display over here in this I wall. I actually like this a lot, yeah. Yeah, we've just kind of really updated a lot of things in this build and gone with thinner wood, really taken a lot of the weight out of the build too and gone with more premium materials across the whole build. You know, as you know, like each van that I've done, it kind of gets a little bit more premium each time. This van had about 60 changes from the previous van wow. I featured on my channel, which even had probably 20 or 30 upgrades from the one that we toured last time. So What's your channel? What do you have? I know you have a YouTube channel, uh, yeah. but is, is it Mothership Vans? Uh, my YouTube is just Shaden Valentine. It's Shaden Valentine, so which is your name. Yeah, yeah. So it's just Shaden Valentine on YouTube. That's where I'm posting all of the Mothership content for now, but we'll probably start a Mothership channel at some point. Other than that, if you want to check out Mothership Vans on Instagram or the website, mothershipvans.com or Mothership Vans on Instagram, or it's Shaden at Instagram. So, you know, vision behind Mothership too. In this video, I kind of want to dive more into like what this company is about. Yes, it's, please. It's really creating like the ultimate off-grid adventure rig that has all of your toys in the back. So Mothership meaning the host of all of your adventures and all of your toys in the most remote off-grid locations, right? So it's that's gonna basically be the theme of this entire brand is creating not only the most premium van on the inside, but having the most capability and the most charging capacity for electric toys like electric dirt bikes, one wheels, electric hydrofoils, paramotors, all the cool like- You're a big EV guy. Gear, yeah. I love EVs, I'm obsessed. <laughs> I love Teslas, I love my toys. So ultimately like this is really about creating something futuristic and starting to kind of tap into the whole space age cyber truck theme that you know everybody seems to kind of be trending towards. I think that's one thing that really differentiates Mothership is not only combining the luxury interior, but then having the you know high end exterior and the rear to basically hold all those toys. That's the main. Can we walk around in the back that you talk about this whole yeah. like yeah, yeah. experience in the Absolutely. back there? Yeah. So the whole, basically the basis of that charging system is a 6,000 watt inverter charger. And we're actually upgrading that to a 6,500 watt inverter charger on the new vans. 
So this van is all on 24 volt architecture, but the new vans will actually be on full 48 volts. So it's just the most efficient that we can do and it gives us the most potential for power and charging all of your toys. Dude, look at all this space. So, yeah, this thing is absolutely loaded. I mean, you can fit probably like a human. six humans back here, right? <laughs> look at um, all that, dude, that's insane. This garage was really, basically we sacrificed the shower and we switched to this garage being designed for toys, right? I yeah. got to a point where on the last build, I just had that massive shower at the back and I just found myself storing my toys in there, right? And more gear in there because we just had a little closet here. And we have these two outlets on the sides. So you have 12 volt and 120 volt outlets on both sides. And you can literally charge anything you want off of here, right? You have, you know, 20 amps on each outlet. So you can charge one wheels, dirt bikes, my paramotor. I'm learning how to fly electric paramotors. That's pretty cool, is, by the way. Yeah. I've but, seen it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sick. When we do the tour, you're going to explain a lot more of where the toilet is, how the water yeah. works, et cetera, et cetera. So everybody yeah, just yeah. please bear with us on that. Yeah. So it's, it's basically just the, in general, we're shifting more towards layouts that are designed around hosting toys and hosting your adventures and kind of combining luxury on the interior with, you know, all of the epic. Now, does Mothership offer more than one floor plan? I know that you're going to do the basic floor plan the way that you have it. Yeah. But are you going to, if somebody wanted the pass through, like yeah. in your last one? So we, we probably would do anything if someone came to us and wanted to do one of the previous Mothership floor plans, we probably would do it. Got it. Um, basically, what's going to happen is from here on out, we're going to basically do the front of the build the same. Every Everything from the new vans are extended, right? So you got an extra 18 inches. So now we're going to be Ooh. doing a partition wall a little bit further forward. We're moving it six inches forward. Then we're adding 18 inches here. So we're actually adding two feet to this garage, right? Wow. And in that process, what we're going to do is actually build in now a separate shower and steam room in there. I want to create like a wellness room. Oh, you actually it. said it. I didn't think you were going to go there, but yeah. okay, you did it. Yeah, we're going to do that on the new vans. Okay. So it's pretty exciting. Essentially, you can imagine you have a four foot by six foot area behind the build. The build will be pretty fixed, right? The actual interior of the van will be pretty fixed, but everything behind that on the new vans is going to be kind of subject to your priorities, right? So imagine if you prioritize, you know, 80% garage space and 20% shower, we can do a fold down shower pan like we have here. If you want to do, you know, 80% shower and 20% garage space, then we can do a full walk through shower again, like we had in the original one. So it's, this is going to be kind of a flex space and we'll kind of, you know, talk with our clients and see. That's pretty cool. Back here. It's systems and storage in the benches. It's the bed lift against the ceiling. And then it's the kitchen. You just can't change it too much, right? You've learned a lot. Like you said, you've done eight or nine, 10 vans, whatever you've done. Yeah. You've coached a bunch of people yeah. to do this. All the nuances, all the details, definitely all the new tech that's coming out. Like that's the other cool part is we brought on some amazing team members here. And so it's gotten to the point where I can start to focus on the innovation and kind of designing new layouts. And we'll actually go inside and show you. We have a new rendering on the screen inside the shop here too. But yeah. Um, yeah, ultimately we're gonna be able to basically just focus on working out, working on new layouts and working on new features. And that's my my passion here is always coming up with like the latest cutting edge features. Yeah, All right, let's go inside. Yeah. Let's do it. All right guys, I'm out here with Keon. We're in the shop. <laughs> Kirby right here is developing the new layout. He's been designing the new layout with me and uh, we've been kind of going over different color palettes. So we're switching away from the black and bamboo theme, kind of going for a lot more slates and marbles and kind of like a gray scale monochrome theme in the van. But as you can see here- Do you know that material, what it's gonna be? Uh, no, we don't. We don't know everything yet. Okay. We're still finding new materials, and I actually want to start pulling a lot of materials from like the yachting industry and kind of veer away from the van conversion industry and automotive industry and like really go on luxury, cool, like marbles and things like that. Hey, so. Kirby, what uh, software are you using? Just out of curiosity. Blender. Oh, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his shirt, man. Blender. You you want the little bl blender plug? <laughs> Are you trying to get some free blender? Is that what you're trying to get, Kirby? Okay. So over here, as you can see, kind of coming into the back now, instead of having the layout as it was before, we have the shower that walks through or the full cutoff garage. Now we actually have this as a steam room and we're doing an incinerating toilet again in the new builds, which is pretty cool. We kind of veered away from that for a second. Now we're going back to- I think you figured it out. Propane you, incineration. Yeah. Yeah. It just makes more sense with propane ultimately. And the cool part about propane is that you actually have an onboard propane tank that you can use for a fire pit or a flamethrower, you know, whatever else you need. So yeah, it's just basically the point is this entire rear portion of the van moving back is just flexible depending on your priorities. So you can have that. You know. So this space over here, that's a garage. This is the garage. Okay. It's like a giant L shaped garage from the back of the van, as you can see here. So this is really the Dude, plan. Kirby's on it, man. Just yeah. following us. Exactly He's, what we're doing. He's amazing. It's pretty sick. <laughs> So this whole back of the van is basically flex space, right? It's nice. four foot, literally four foot deep by six foot wide is gonna be completely flexible depending on what you want. And yeah, Why I'll not? show you guys in the shop. That's good. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Thanks, Kirby. So Shane, we are in the shop now. Yes. Welcome to the shop. This Welcome to the shop. Over here, we yeah. have two new builds. These are both 3500 XD extended dualies. So Dude, these, these are, are like 2023. These are the fully loaded badass vans. Like, <laughs> you really can't the get any better. 
Yeah, I know you said that the dualies, but yeah, these add a couple thousand pounds of extra cargo capacity on I'd... top of the suspension that we're upgrading. Great. So now I didn't even know they made spec. dualies in all-wheel drive. Yeah. And you were like, dude, I have one. It's in the parking lot. Like... Yeah, they're, they're loaded. <laughs> these things are really, really hard to find. Now we have two of these sitting in the shop. This one and the graphite gray one over here. They're both completely fully loaded. This black one is gonna be converted into the mothership show van, basically. And then the gray one down there is gonna basically be up for deposit, so. Oh, so if somebody's watching this and they wanna put a deposit down exactly. with a mothership. Yeah, so oh. the van out front is probably gonna sell here pretty soon. And then this van ultimately will be up for deposit. And this is gonna be built as our show vehicle that we'll be doing for all the shows. And yeah, we have two more vans getting delivered in January that are identical to this one. So okay, cool. Two black ones that are 3,500 XDs. Those will also be available for deposit. And basically what we're gonna start doing is taking deposits in advance so you can reserve a slot to build a van over the next year, kind of like what most van builders are doing. Mm -hmm. But I've always veered away from that. I've always tried to do you know, spec builds where I build a van and then sell it. We're hoping to do about eight vans in 2024. So you know that's kind of the goal here. But if you are interested, then you can basically design anything from the colors to the rear layout of that garage and shower ratio. Uh, or you can just go with one of our kind of fixed designs that we have. So awesome. it's, that's kind of how this is going to work moving forward. But this is the black one. I'll kind of give you guys a rough tour of the inside here uh, and just kind of go over the layout and new features and everything that we're doing in here. So lots of upgrades on these vans. I can't even begin to explain the list of upgrades, but it's um, right now I think there's 117 items on the list from that van out front. Almost <laughs> head to toe, this thing is getting redone. I mean, we're going with the absolute top of the line systems that you can find. So there's no more, you know, luckily at this point, we're not in the, at the point of my, my career where we're trying to budget these builds or save any money on these vans. We're just going with the absolute best of everything on every single feature that we can. Speaking of, I don't want to yeah. interrupt you, but yeah. you're doing something in this van that you, you, you haven't done, you know how to do it, but you've never done it in one of your vans before, which is... These floors, hydronic floors. Yeah, I've always been... You've been hesitant. dreaming about it, yeah. Well, I've been, I've been hesitant. I've been really? Hesitant. Okay, well, explain why you've been hesitant. Maybe other people that are watching this are also yeah. hesitant. So, so why have you been and, and yeah, what so, made you pull the trigger? So ultimately, I've always done, basically the goal of having, you know, hydronic floors and of having an air heater, of having a diesel heater is to create hot air and hot floors, right? And yep. then potentially radiant heat too, that's passive, right? To be able to heat your batteries, to be able to heat your, you know, water tank and all your systems in the van and kind of protect it in winter. Um, and then to keep yourself cozy, right? To me, it always made the most sense to go with an electric heating pad down the floor. So that's what we've done. And that's what the build out front has, mm -hmm. along with a diesel heater, right? That heats your air. And then on that one, we actually have a coolant based water heater that is connected to the engine. So it's an ISO temp water heater. Oh, those are nice, yeah. So that's kind of like a hybrid of what I was doing compared to this, which is kind of like the ultimate system. This is the all-in-one system, right? I was hesitant just because it costs a lot more to do hydronic throughout the entire van, but I've come to the conclusion that ultimately I do want to be doing the top of the line and having the radiant heat just radiating through the van when you're coming in from skiing, that just doesn't happen when you have a 24 volt heating film. As someone that loves hydronic floor heating, yes, yeah. Shaden, you said it eloquently yeah. and perfect, thank you. Yeah, and it preheats the engine, You know, it heats up the water, it heats the air, it heats the floors. It's such a nice all-in-one system with a little touch screen. It's yep. sweet, and so. you did the one that actually, yeah, ties into the engine. Yeah. Yeah, you did that one. Okay. Yeah. We got a couple other upgrades throughout. So, you know, now at this point, there's a lot in van builds that you can't see when you buy a van, right? Ultimately, right. That's, what's go, that, that's what goes behind the walls. And those are the, the little decisions that builders make when they're designing the vans. And so on these builds, for example, you know, we spent an extra four or five days just doing the lizard skin insulation on the walls. Right? Oh, is that what you have on this? It's full ceramic insulation throughout the entire build. Can you explain why and lizard skin is so great? I mean, it's just... It's expensive. Yeah, it's just an added layer of ceramic insulation so it's for sound heat and cold right but mainly for heat coming in from the outside and so it's just another layer of insulation and you know it's something that is not necessary and you don't have to do it and most people aren't going to notice it in their day-to-day -day, but when you're in a really cold climate or when you're in a really hot climate you're going to notice the difference and it's things like that or things like we're double stuffing insulation in the walls like mm -hmm. you know that costs twice as much to double stuff since double stuff insulation. We're using all Ancor marine grade wiring, like absolute top of the line throughout everything in here. Sure. And so those little decisions, it's hard for me to express those on a, on a completed van that, you know, what's behind the walls has been done perfectly. That's the difference. I'm, I'm gonna you stop know. you for one second. Yeah. You've grown up. Yeah. You've grown yeah. up. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. I'm like so proud. <laughs> I know. I'm Jared, so proud of Shaden, everybody. Jared made this happen. Uh, no, I didn't make it all happen, but I'm so <laughs> proud of Shaden. He, um, he, he held me to this standard. And on some of my earlier builds, you know, we, of course, I had less money at the time and I would cut corners on things like I would never double stuff insulation. You wouldn't, I don't, this is your first necessary. time doing lizard skin? 
Uh, this is our first time doing lizard skin. This is our first time double stuffing. And we're just getting into all those details and that's down to the wiring and the conduit and, and the way we run the wires and the serviceability inside these walls and the way that everything's you know future proof and ready for off-roading. It's like, we're not running any wires near sharp edges. Everything's you know really secured and you know zip tied and, and organized. And it's just to that point where we don't want to cut corners. So anyway, that's behind the walls in these. Um, that's been a big upgrade because in the past, ultimately it was just always me and a couple friends building these. Sure. And we're getting to the point where we, you know, just want to do everything right. So. You're hiring a whole team. I mean, this is, we're in a shop. Yeah. We got a whole team now. Yeah, we're offering know? a warranty now, one year warranty on all the bills. Oh, great. So you know, if anything goes wrong, you can always bring it back. Yeah, basically the cool part here is that actually right behind the wheels is the beginning of our flex space. So that is can, crazy. If, if you can imagine on the new build, you know, on the old builds, you know, the kitchen is right here. So we have the kitchen sink stove on this new van we're doing some really cool features we're doing a invisible induction stove for the first time that goes underneath the countertop you want to do some glowing countertops and really nice you're really features. swinging over the fences on this mothership yeah just aura about you yeah this I is, love it. We're, we're really going for like I said like this van will be more akin to a super yacht than it will be to a van right like you'll, you'll see the DNA mixing there and that's where I'm, st I'm, I'm really gonna try to start focusing on going to the yachting trade shows and things like that. And just like taking the absolute nicest materials in the world, things that people don't usually put in vans. You know, even like over here, we're using all Alcantaras now on the entire interior. Okay. We're gonna be upholstering all of the trim with Alcantara now. And then same thing up in the cab, I would actually, this is not fully confirmed yet, but I really want to get the entire dash upholstered with Alcantara and redo the headliner. And you know, basically everything up, up here from the front forward is going to be completely connected to the rear of the build. So you don't have separation between the cab and, you know, the build out. Upgrading these? Right? Yeah, we're going to upgrade seats. We're going to upgrade the dash. We're, we're going to wrap everything in Alcantara and it'll feel like you're driving in a premium car, like a, you know, a Bentley or, you know, something like that. So nice. This van is going to be the influencer mobile too. You know, like if people that have big YouTube channels want to take it out camping for the weekend, I really want to like uh -oh. have someone out there on the internet and let people use this and feel free, reach out if you want uh -oh, to Oh, be careful with that one. There we go, send me a DM. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'd love to show you guys this space because basically, right, like I said, everything from here forward is fixed. So here, from here forward is essentially where the happy jack mounts, right? So this is just your benches. You got a half bench here, which is going to be ultimately like your lower queen size bed. Mm -hmm. And then you got your bed lift against the ceiling. We've done some really cool things to the bed lift as well, getting that custom fabricated. That's all powder coated aluminum now. Yep. So that bed lift dropped about 200 pounds of weight out of the original frame that we were building manually. Anyway, from there forward is Happy Jack. Over here we have the kitchen and overhead cabinets and microwave. On this layout, we're going to have a full height fridge here, as well as a full height closet and a full pantry and an espresso machine. So that'll basically be like your, you know, fridge, food storage, coffee, and then, you know, linens and closet. Moving back from there though, ultimately from this line, you just have this massive, like I said in the rendering, four foot by six foot area that we can really do anything with, right? Like if you want to leave this as an entire garage or you want to have a pass through here to be able to put a dirt bike down the middle, we could do that and you could sure. skip out on having a shower. Or we can say this entire room is a shower with two teak benches and a full steam room, right? Like we can really turn this rear area into whatever you want. So that's gonna be the main thing that's up for grabs and up for decision for the clients, uh, basically along with material choices and colors on the entire front of the van. So you'll be able to choose all your Alcantara colors, your bench cushion colors, your countertops, your faces, the flooring, the ceiling, all kinds of things like that. So yeah, and that's gonna basically be my primary role is really just helping to design the exact van that fits your needs the best. And if you tell me like, hey, you know, I have 20 skateboards that I wanna put in the back, like we can CNC cut out slots for your skateboards and put like a custom tuning station. And right, so cool. if you're a musician, we could, mount all of your instruments. If you're a snowboarder, we could put 10 different snowboards and a bunch of waxing stations. And you know, know somebody I mean? like wants a podcast be... studio. Yeah, exactly. I, oh, we could literally turn this into a podcast studio. Right you here. absolutely could. So this is kind of like your, everything from here forward is for sleeping, cooking and storing your stuff. And then from here back, it's like, what else do you want in your build? So from the wheels forward is uh, van life. And from yeah. the wheels back is your life. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's it's like your garage, it's like your basement. You know? It's like, what do you want to do over here? So if I want if I wanted to get back into stand-up comedy, I could make this into a stage and <laughs> I could, could open, open up the up back right doors and do, do street comedy. You could do that if you wanted. <laughs> I would actually love to do that. And that's also, you know, I would love to build a podcast studio in the van. Joe Rogan, if you're watching, I want to build you a podcast studio. There it is. But I would love to do a podcast studio. I would love to put a bunch of crossbows in here and bone arrows and throwing at you know axes and hatchets and knives and all that cool stuff that would be amazing that so. would be cool so joe <laughs> joe if you're joe, listening, if you're listening watching
and everybody else, you know, if there's like, I would love to start designing these for pro athletes and, you know, have sponsored athletes. Oh, that'd be cool. Bands, like that'd having, cool. you know, a surfboard collection back here. You could have like, just basically whoever the best in the game is in their field, they can take this and we can design a really cool space back here for them. So that's the interior of this van. We'll take you over here and show you the uh, gray van. It's very similar. Look at all those workstations down in here. Yeah. It's crazy. So this van is basically at the same stage. We're building these in tandem. So they're ultimately at the exact same stage right now but this one has a little bit more light in it. So yeah, this it one is up for grabs though. This is ready for a deposit and we're basically gonna continue moving forward on builds until we get a deposit. So basically the way that works is we're gonna build everything up to here and then we'll be waiting on clients to decide on the back. If someone hasn't put a deposit down on a van yet, then we'll just build it and then sell it once it's finished. That'd be cool. So so you, you, you're still gonna do some specs if you need to. Yeah, we're still gonna, we're still gonna move the vans forward. So there will always be vans being built and we're cool. gonna be staggering, staggering them three at a time right now. But basically, the point is for people watching, if you want to order a Mothership van, essentially what, the way that it'll work is depending on what stage of the build you put your deposit down on the van, that'll determine how customizable it is. The other thing is we can wrap the vans. We can PPF the vans. We can do you all can. kinds of cool stuff on the outside. So from here moving forward, the vans that I've ordered are black because I do think that the black looks best on the door jams. Oh, you're right. As a base for wraps. And I have a feeling we'll probably be wrapping almost every van that leaves. Anyway, that's uh, that's Mothership. That's I can't wait shot. to get the step in, by the way. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> That's until, a big until step. It's lifted too. It's, these all-wheel drives are really high off the ground. Plus, we're going to lift it. Plus, we're going to do suspension, bigger tires. All right. Well, again, you know, you already said Mothership vans like 48 times in this. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Again, yeah, yeah, plug it, plug it some more. Yeah, go check out the uh, the tour. That we're gonna do a full comprehensive tour of you know Mothership Three. Basically, these will be serialized. So the third one is gonna have a full tour soon here. And then once this black one and the gray one are finished, we'll be doing tours of these as well. But feel free to stay tuned on Shaden Valentine on my YouTube channel at Shaden on Instagram and MothershipVans.com. Mothership Vans on Instagram. That's where you're gonna find all the updates on this stuff. Subscribe to the newsletter on the website and. Uh, yeah, if you want a van, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I will be glad to get on a call. Um, other things are, if you want to learn how to build vans, you're welcome to buy, a, buy my course. I have tons of videos in the course that teach you a ton of the basics in these builds. It's not as advanced as the latest ones. But if you do want to learn the basics of van building, feel free to check out the course on my website. Shaden. Cool. Thanks again, buddy. Thanks, dude. Appreciate let's, you. Let's yeah. go tour that, that beast. Let's do it. <laughs>